I was messaged by someone out of Sweden. It was a sister that let me know about a video that came out in that country. Now remember, we are in the four corners of the earth. We also in the continent of Africa as well. And we definitely want to be an African diaspora channel. And we push that to cover stories that's happening to us all over the globe, not just here in America. Now we have this sister you're going to see in the video. It was also posted to Instagram where you have this black woman with her child being dragged off of a train by some white male cops. And I want you to see how they handle this sister. Let's roll the clips. If you enjoy the engaging news and information we present on this channel, would you consider partnering with us on Patreon? Your support helps us to remain your go-to source for news and commentary for only $2 or $5 per month. That's less than a cup of coffee. During the YouTube ad crisis, we faced the horrible idea that our show would have to be shut down. But it was great people like you that made the difference and helped to save our show. We want to give a huge thank you to every difference maker that supported us on Patreon. And make sure to subscribe to our channel. The person that posted the video, they left the post and stated that all the witnesses that came forth with the evidence we're making their own reports. They say in these two videos, you can see the victim dragged out of the train, her child taken from her, and while she attempts to stand up, is held down. Now, the full video is five minutes long, and they say they'll try to edit and put it up when they get a chance. They say after everything, the Swedish public was shown in the recent uh, documentary, the Kala uh, Fact TV 4 about after Swedes are racially profiled and mistreated, this shouldn't surprise anyone, even if the victim is pregnant. The victim is currently in the hospital, and all I can do is hope the baby is all right, because if anything happens to that child, they will be held to pay. That's what the poster has stated. So as you saw earlier today, how a brother was treated, now you see how this sister is treated in Sweden. I told you everywhere that we are at, we're dealing with the exact same thing, the exact same thing. And every scenario that you see is the same cast of characters. You saw the same cast of characters in the video out of Yorktown, Virginia. Now you see the same cast of characters here in Sweden, always trying to brutalize and harm a black person. This is why we need to put down all the differences that we have. No one is better than anyone when everybody getting the same treatment. We're getting it worldwide. Racism and white supremacy is a global entity. 
It's not just relegated to United States of America. I don't know how many times I have to keep saying that we saw racism and white supremacy in Portugal. We see racism and white supremacy in Sweden. It's everywhere, especially if we are the minority somewhere. I'm talking about all over that country. We don't make up the police departments. And then in this particular country, America, they try to keep black men from flooding the police departments. I got a cover story of a black woman that was fired as a recruiter because she was drafting in too many black police officers. And that woman sued and won, but it was a bunch of white male cops complaining to the city that she was bringing in too many blacks. See, they, they want those police departments, no matter what country they're in, to be all white male because they know good and well if the police department at least was half black. They couldn't get away with a lot of things they're getting away with. So they got to keep black folks out of those jobs. And the few they let in, they got to make sure that they shucking and jiving and against black people. But they don't care about black women. They don't care about their babies or anything. You have to understand, just even in this country, what's that sister name? Mary, I forgot her last name, the one that they lynched and cut her baby out and stoned the baby's head in. This is the people that you see in this video. They all come from the same area, Europe. They children haven't changed a bit. They don't have respect for, for black people or their children or anything. There's no reason to handle that woman like that, none. But when they have racist attitudes toward black folk, this is what you see. This is why we have to come together through the diaspora, unify wherever we are at, unify. We have to think about that all the time. That's why I want us to come together. We can't do things alone. You know, you, I don't care if you're on a continent, you're talking about you a part of this tribe, your tribe ain't doing crap. If you, if you oppressed, what's the part of being a, a tribe? And you let all these folks run in your country. I'm talking about on the continent. You know, some people want to say, oh, you guys know where you come from. Or, like, okay, well, we have an excuse for that. What's going on with you? You know where you come from. You letting other people, you letting these folks run you. We got to stop all that, that conversation. Those that come over here from different parts of the world. Don't come over here looking down on, on, on black Americans. Because we, we're not going to tolerate that. We're going to check you because all of us are dealing with the problem all of us and we got to put aside that that bs because no matter where we at we're being treated the same way like you saw here in sweden and i will continue to ask people to share the videos with us if you can let us know what's going on and also i would ask you if it's in different languages if you could take the time just to translate it for us so we can just hear the words i'm just asking that because, you know, a lot of times I may not cover certain things due to, you know, the language barrier. And, and, you know, also it takes a lot of finance to get people to translate certain things. We have to pay for those services. So, you know, until we get to that point where we could have people on deck to do that for us, if you can translate that, we greatly appreciate it. Just at least for the American audience, because you're sending videos to an American audience. So we want to make sure that everyone understands what's going on. I mean, we see what's going on. Yes, we see it, but it'd be good to understand the words, you know, what's going on. And also it would help me as well in a lot of these commentaries. I mean, I see the writings on the wall, of course. I mean, it's something I've always seen here in America, but like I say, it just helps out just a little bit. Comment, let me know what you think about this particular video out of Sweden. As I say about Portugal, I say about you brothers and sisters in Sweden, consider going back to the continent if you can. Maybe you've never lived over there, but go try it out. There are many countries that's stable enough for you to go to and to start a life, or even just to try it out just a little bit, just see for yourselves. Because what's going on in Europe, that place is falling apart. Trust me, it's falling apart every day. And when they start having problems, they want to target us every time. 